Hi friends, welcome to BiologyExamsFory.com. Today we have an interesting topic that is the life cycle of angiosperms within 5 to 10 minutes. At the end of the discussion, you will be able to understand that a simplified version of life cycle of angiosperms, parts of flower, how pollen grains or embryo sac is formed and what do you mean by double fertilization in angiosperms within 5 to 10 minutes. In angiosperms, the dominant phase is a sporophytic phase. So this is a sporophytic plant with flower. To understand the life cycle, first we need to understand the structure of a flower. The male part of the flower is called as the stamen. It comprises of an anther, then there is a filament. These two together called as stamen, which is the male part of the flower. Whereas the female part comprises of a stigma, this is to receive the pollen grain, then there is a style, then you can see there is an ovary, inside that there is ovule. This together, stigma, style, ovary and ovule is called a scarpel, which is the female part of the flower. Now let us see how pollen grains are formed. As you see, and there is a four lobe structure. Inside each lobe, there are diploid sporogenous tissue. Microsporocyte or microspore mother cell formed from sporogenous tissue undergoes meiosis forming four microspores. At first, this remains together, later gets separated. The formation of microspores from microspore mother cell is called as microsporogenesis. Later, at maturity, this pollen grains undergoes unequal mitosis, forming two cells, a smaller generative cell that later forms the male gametes and a tube cell, a larger tube cell that forms the germ tube or pollen tube that carries the male gametes towards the egg. Male gametophyte or male gamete forming structure is a pollen grain. Now let us see the other side, how embryo sac is formed. So this is the ovule and this is the enlarged view of ovule and ovule has integuments and this opening is called micropyle and the opposite region is called a chalacel region. It is actually the region that attaches the ovule to the placenta. Then inside ovule from the sporogenous tissue megasporocyte or megaspore mother cell undergoes meiosis forming four megaspores of which three degenerates by apoptosis or programmed cell death one often at the chalacel end survives and this is the surviving megaspore and that undergoes three mitosis that is two four eight forming an eight celled embryo sac the, these three cells at the chalacel end are called antipodals, whereas this is called the egg apparatus. This is called the egg apparatus that comprises of a central egg cell with two synergids. These cells are called synergids. And the central cell, two haploid cells, at first this remain haploid, which is called as polar nuclei. Later this fuses to form secondary nucleus and this is the structure of a mature embryo sac or embryo sac is a mega gametophyte or female gametophyte. Now let us understand fertilization. This pollen grains falls on stigma. If the pollen grains are compatible, stigma provides conducive atmosphere with enzymes, lipids for germination of this pollen grain by forming pollen tube pollen tube grows towards the ovule. Meantime, the generative cell forms two male gametes. So let us zoom in to understand what is actually double fertilization. As you see, this pollen grains, pollen germinates on stigma and pollen tube is formed. It carries the male gametes towards the embryo sac of the ovule. So this two male gametes. Of the two male gametes, as you see one and two, one fuses with the egg forming the zygote. This is the first sexual fusion. One male gamete fuses with the egg to form the zygote. 
then the second male gamete second male gamete fuses with the secondary nucleus forming a triploid cell which is the endosperm mother cell endosperm mother cell that later forms the endosperm let me repeat in angiosperms there are two sexual fusions one of the male gamete fuses with the egg forming the zygote whereas the second male gamete fuses with the secondary nucleus forming a triploid endosperm mother cell that is why fertilization is called as double fertilization in angiosperms after this sexual fusion the zygote undergoes mitosis forming multicellular embryo whereas the primary endosperm nucleus later transforms into endosperm that provides nutrition for this developing embryo the integuments of the ovule forms the seed coat whereas the ovary becomes the fruit and the ovary wall becomes the pericarp or fruit wall this is how the ovule becomes a seed and ovary becomes a fruit hope you understand the life cycle of angiosperms if you find this video useful please consider subscribing this channel thank you so much for your support you are with biologyexamsforyou.com